G'day guys, how are you out here at the lake again? Just popped out, um, decided wanted to try to get some barred grunter and try out new reel uh, that I put on my little uh, wide-in wide -in setup that I've got. So um, I've got that just here if you check that out. There you go. That's the little, that's a really lightweight little fishing rod there and um, just put a new Shimano Sienna 4000 on there. Um, just a, not overly expensive reel, but just got that so we could uh, give it a bash and we're going to toss it out there and see if we can find ourselves a fish and that'd be pretty cool if we could. So let's get into it and see how we go. Oh, there we go. And we've got a fish on. And it's only a little one. It's like tiny, tiny. <laughs> and that is not what I was expecting. That is a little tiny tilapia. Check out the colors on that fish. Now we're not in sunlight here, so I don't know whether those blues and that are standing out in there. That big, big black spot. There's yellows and blues and greens in there. And um, amazing looking fish. Unfortunately, like I said, they are a um, invasive species and they're a do not release. So in there, I'll just check around the bottom there. So it's a male, uh, which you can tell just there, um, just there at the bottom. You can check there, it's a dot, not a slit. Um, there's a different way of telling that it's a larvae or a male or a female and got to go, unfortunately. So there you go, little tilapia. It's got a worm there and um, just thread him onto the hook. Nothing real special. And let him wiggle around out there. Cast him on out. And then we just take up the tension there, let it sink to the bottom. When it hits the bottom, that line will slack off. We just take up that bit of line just so we can feel the bites as soon as they happen. And that's biting straight away. Oh, there we go. Got a fish on literally that quick. Oh no, it's got to straighten the bottom. Oh no, got him off, got him off. He's still coming. Here he comes. And then we were hooked in the bottom there. And that is a spangled perch. So not what we're after as well. See, um, that was actually wrapped around that stick there. There you go. That's what it had snagged in the bottom there. And that is a spangled perch. They call them the whiting of the west. And um, there's no legal size on these. You'll have 20 per person. And um, not what we're after. And he's nearly about keep size for me. He's uh, they only There's no size limit on these. And they don't grow very big at all. But they do grow in really large numbers. So we're after, we're after a barred grunter. But this one here is a spangled perch, so we might um, let this little fella go. There we go. He's got that little hook out of there. He's all right. And he should just swim away. No hassles at all there. Here we go. Put him in the water and he's off. See you, mate. Looks like we've got a fish on. Oh, well. Yep, got one on there. What could we have this time? And there we go. We got our target species, little barred grunner. There you go. You can hear him there. 
hear him grunting away. And that's the little barred grunter. They are tiny. They're 20 per person. In this lake, there are actually um, no bag limit on them, but in their natural range, which is up North Queensland, they are 20 per person. So it's only a little fella, but they don't grow much bigger than that. We've seen a couple of bigger ones on the channel, but there you go. We're gonna see if we can get a few of those. Put him down there, take care of him in a second. Get his line back in. Put a fresh worm on. So we've had uh, three fish in a row and three different species. So there you go. It's pretty cool. Here we go. And there we go. That is another barred grunner. Now that fella is so small. There's no point in keeping him. <laughs> He's tiny. Tiniest little fish. Look at him go. Here, back in the water. Go, be a fish. <laughs> it doesn't matter on the size of the fish. I've got this bag here and um, I bleed them out. All of the fish, so just cut into the gills. Brain spike them, do whatever you want to do there. And then um, put them in here, got some water and a bottle of ice in there. It just means we can keep the fish nice and cold. And we don't have to worry about them until we get home. Got him. He's only a tiny fish. There we go. That is another barred grunner. So that gives us two with the wind. <laughs> and that's why we're not at the boat today, because this wind is, we're actually uh, covered under here. But where we are, but if we went out there a little bit further, it would be um, quite yuck. This little bay is um, pretty well sheltered. <laughs> okay, we'll put this back here. We've got that same worm on, so we can get a second fish with it. That'd be nice. Let's sink to the bottom. Take up the slack. Just put it there. Bleed this little fella. So. Brain spike. Through there. They're a bit spiky. Cut the gills in there, both sides. Give them a second since we dive north. Let him bleed out a bit, then we'll put him in on the ice there. And we've got another fish on. There we go. Two for the price of one worm. <laughs> Doing all right. And uh, he swallowed the hook down a bit, so we'll get that out. Now they might seem like a tiny fish. I know that 100% they do look like a tiny fish. And they are a tiny fish. They don't grow much bigger than that. Um, occasionally you've seen in other videos where we have got bigger ones. But if you can catch five or six of those, five or six will feed an adult. So they're, they're only a tiny little fillet, but it's enough for a, a good feed for an adult. If you get your bag limit of 20, that's actually quite a good feed uh, for, for an adult or two adults um, if you clean them up properly. So it's not hard to do. It's not, um, it's not really rocket science. And you know, I'd rather be out here fishing than they're not. So <laughs> it's way better to be out here for sure. Oh, jeez, look at that. Holy crap. We got a big fish on. It just grabbed that. And 
haven't even got the head cam on. There we go. Something just grabbed that and took off. So, um, I've got a camera in my hand. Hang on. I'll try to put that there. Is that there? There we go. Oh, she's. Come on, camera. There we are. There you go. Only got really light six pound line here, so yeah, look at that. Like I said, these catfish will nail you. <laughs> that is a tiny catfish, and he just owned that line. There you go. They will um we'll get him unhooked. Get him back in. Now, I'm just gonna be a little bit careful picking him up because they do have spines right there. And you see, if I flip him over, that's their spikes. They point straight up, straight away. And um, if I pick him up like that, upside down, and I'm away from all those spikes. So you can see there's a barbed spine down on the petrol fin on each side. They're a venomous spine, so you've got to be a little bit on the careful side. You do not want to get them in you. There's one big one up the um, dorsal fin there as well. But if you look real carefully, I don't know whether it's going to come up on the camera, you'll see that they are actually serrated. Each of those spikes are actually serrated, just like a um, stingray barb. So they will mess you up. My brother actually had one of these uh, in his foot. Uh, and he nearly lost his foot it was actually that that bad so uh, if we put him down in here they're really not here to hurt you can't eat them if you really want to but we're not going to there you go see you later mr catfish and have a good life there we go it's not a big one it's only a little one but There we go, another caddy. Yep. All there, ready to um, get back in the water. <laughs> Let this uh, Let his hook out of your buddy. Come on, get the hook out of you. And roll. There he goes. Oh, don't stab me in the foot, mate. And look at him. So just make sure you don't get stabbed by these guys. Because they hurt. <laughs> there we go. I'll put him back in here. See ya, buddy. Come on. Get out of here. See you, mate. Oh, got him. Felt that fish grab that as it was sinking down. I don't even think he knows he's hooked yet. But, there you go. He actually didn't even grab that. He got, he got hooked through the eyeball. There you go. So he gone up and tapped it, and we got him. And another one, another tiny little fella. He's only little, little, but I think he might have swallowed that hook a bit deep, so. Let's have a quick look, see if we can get it out. Oh no, straight out. There you go. You can go back in. Now this one here, this little fish hooked on straight into the snags. This is what they do. As soon as they grab the hook, they go straight for cover. And they wrap around stuff until they, basically they can unhook themselves. 
So you see that little fella there? He's done it again. And you can see where he swam around and around around that, which is now gone. And tiny little grunter. But I think we've got enough now where we can um, keep an eye on a few. Take care of him in a second. And um, it's, it's going to be nice to have a little um, feed of fish tonight on the barbecue, I'd say. I think we got a fish on. It's only a little tiny fish. Once again, so I'd say it's a little grunner. There you go. And they keep accumulating. Like I said, pain in the backside to clean. Thick skinned. Got to skin each of the little tiny fillets. But they're a feed. That's a way better one. There you go, little stripe. Barred grunter or stripey. We call them stripey, but they're actually a barred grunter. Yeah. He grabbed that before it even hit the bottom. They're super spiky, so you just gotta be careful grabbing them. Settle down, mate. There we go. And you got him right through the top of the top loop there. Look at that straight out. And we'll put him down here because he can go into the uh, bucket with the others. Hello. And what have we got here? We've got a another grunter. Just launched him out of the water there. <laughs> He's a tiny little fella. And I think he can go as well. It's there, buddy. Bye. Choom. He gone. Well, there we go. Um, I just got snapped off by a big catfish and um, didn't have the cameras on. It was sort of a last second thing, but I could retie it. But I've got a few little uh, grunter in there, so I'm going to clean them up and um, start heading home. So, a bit of fun, but um, we'll see you on the cleaning table. cleaning table most of these uh, boat ramps and all that around Queensland well, all around Australia really have got a cleaning table and just make sure that if you use them that you're um, giving them a good clean off too there's um, it's not really rocket science I got here this one was absolutely filthy when I got here so not hard make sure everything goes down the hole put your um, frames, everything in the bins provided has been just there, everything that you want to put in it and um, do the right thing by other people because it just makes it nice for everyone.